friends, this video on oscillations part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 22 before going ahead with part 23. Let us consider another system which exhibit system ha uh, simple harmonic motion. That is oscillations due to a spring. Whenever you have spring attached to an object attached to a spring, there also you tend to observe this simple harmonic motion. Let us suppose there is a rigid support on the wall. You have a spring which is attached at one end to the wall and on the other end there is a mass which is attached to it. If you extend the mass to one end and then leave it, what happens? The mass starts oscillating. Somewhat like this. You extend the mass, leave it. So it will start moving like this. Here I have shown it, the, shown the motion as a very slow motion, but generally it happens very fast. Right? So this is also a simple harmonic motion because here also the force acts opposite to the direction of displacement and it tends to bring the object to its mean position. Now let me explain this more clearly. Let us suppose this is your wall. From here, you have a spring this way, which is attached to some mass, say M, right? Let us suppose this is the mean position. Here, the object is at rest without any disturbance. Now, let us suppose that you extend the object to some distance, say A. Now, you have pulled this object so far. So what happened? This distance from the mean position is what? It is nothing but your amplitude, right? Compare it with your simple, uh, I mean your simple pendulum. You will understand it better. So this is your amplitude. Now you take it to this position and then leave it. Then what happens? The object starts oscillating. That is the object then comes too close to the spring maybe somewhere here and then again it goes back to this farther position. So he, this side also it goes to some distance say A. So this is how the motion keeps taking place. So here also we have this mean position where the object tends to be when it is left to itself and also we have two extreme positions on both the ends. So here also the motion takes place in a similar way as it happens in case of simple pendulum. Just that since a spring comes into picture, there are certain things which changes. Now we will see the changes that happen here. Now let us look at the mathematical part of it. So what happened in that case? When stretched, when we, when we stretched the box to the extreme end, it was subjected to a restoring force. This restoring force was proportional to displacement and it acted towards the mean position. That is, it was opposite to displacement. Magnitude wise, it was proportional to displacement and direction wise, it was opposite to displacement. Now let us suppose that the displacement is x. So if the displacement is x, the restoring force f will be given by minus kx. Minus shows the direction and kx shows that, shows the proportionality of f with x. So this k is nothing but the spring constant. Now, if you look at this equation, this equation is the same equation as that of the force law. This means that this motion is simple harmonic. So, mathematically also we proved that the motion of the oscillations of a spring is simple harmonic. So, what is k here? k is nothing but m omega squared or we can say that omega is equal to root over k by m. Now we know that omega is nothing but 2 pi by capital T which is equal to root over k by m or we can say that capital T that is time period is equal to 2 pi root over m by k. 
So this T denotes the time period of the oscillations of a spring. As in case of a simple pendulum, we can directly use the formula of time period as 2 pi root over L by G. Similarly, in case of the oscillations of a spring, we can use directly time period as 2 pi root over M by K. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.